On behalf of the Deerfield Memorial Day Committee, we welcome everyone and thank you all for attending today's Memorial Day ceremony. Unfortunately, the parade wasn't to be, but we uh, ask for the blessings of uh, Father Dave and Father Corver. And, uh, so be it. But there's always an extra. Uh, today, participating in today's ceremony include the Hail Clap VW Post 3295 Color Guard and Rifle Team, led by Commander Ray Belisle. Parade Marshal. U.S. Navy Captain Stephen DeBrian Cox, uh, who, along with Gold Star Mother Kathleen Blanchard, will be presenting the memorial wreath. The clergy, including Father David Ferrio of the Holy Family Church, will provide today's invocation. And Reverend Robert M. Corber of the Holy Name of Jesus Church will provide today's final blessing to conclude today's ceremony. Also in attendance are the members of the Deerfield Select Board and, and also the Deerfield. Uh, here for fire, uh, South Deerfield Fire District members, and we thank them all for their participation in today's ceremony. At this time, we ask that everyone please stand, if you can, for Father David Ferriero, who will now offer the invocation and remain seated following for the singing, uh, for the playing of our national anthem by the Frontier Regional School Band, directed by Mr. Max Scher. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we gather today to pray for our brothers and sisters. They have passed from death to life in company with the Lord Jesus, who died and rose to new life, and are purified now of their faults. We pray that God may welcome them among all the saints in heaven. With Christ there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty God and Father, by the mystery of the cross, you have made us strong. By the sacrament of the resurrection, you have sealed us as your own. Look kindly upon your servants, now free from the bonds of mortality, and count them among your saints in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed, with the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds and the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. At this time, uh, for presentation of the memorial wreath, we call upon Gold Star Mother Kathleen Belanger and Parade Marshal U.S. Navy Captain Stephen DeBurden Copps.
Thank you very much for taking time out of your Memorial Day weekend to come to this very sacred event. Besides the military that is sitting in the front, how many other veterans are here? Can you raise your hands? Raise your hand if you're a veteran. Thank you. I want to thank you. We are gathered here today as our personal obligation to honor our town war dead. I am a gold star mother. It's not a title that I wanted and I would gladly give it away. But that's not going to happen. I've had it now, come August, 21 years. A lifetime. 21 years. It is our responsibility as a community to honor those that paid the ultimate sacrifice. Unfortunately, Memorial Day has become very commercialized. I was a little disheartened this morning when I opened the paper. Normally, I put in a memorial notice for Gregory, but unfortunately, the day that it was due, I was in the hospital, but I'm back. I can't knock this girl down yet. There were only nine memorials, and only two were for our soldiers, for soldiers that paid the ultimate price. That is very sad, very sad indeed. If it wasn't for these men and women over all the years, we wouldn't have the freedoms that we have. We're, we're all very lackadaisical. We don't really think about it. But all you have to do is turn the TV on, turn the radio on. There's the crisis in Ukraine. There's the crisis in Palestine and Israel. You have other countries that are rumbling. And all those people want is peace and freedom, family, love, safe life. I was very happy to see the multitude of the American flags hung up on my way down. It gives me a very big sense of pride. I replaced my own flag on the corner. I have one more to do. Like I said, I was down and out, but I'm catching up and I will make sure that it is done properly. I came across a prayer that I saw on, on Facebook, and I think it kind of says a lot. They served and fought and died so that we might be safe and free. Grant them, O Lord, eternal peace, and give them the victory, and in these days of unrust filled with grave uncertainty, let's not forget the price they paid to keep our country free. So as I have asked you before, when you go home today and you have your family gathering, please just take a moment of silence, look towards the heavens and say, thank you for your service. This is their day. Thank you very, very much for coming. I also, one other thing, because the flags are so important to me for our community, I am giving the Memorial Day Committee a check for $500 so they can continue to replace the worn, tattered flags from years past, and that we may be proud of our red, white, and blue. And I, I also encourage you to make donations. Thank you very much.
and Elie Aliana DiNardo will now recite the Gettysburg Address. The Gettysburg Address, delivered at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, on November 19, 1863. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot all this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it, far above our poor power to add or to drought. The world will little know, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth.
in the United States, he was a United States Petty Officer, second class, and proudly served our country in the Pacific Theater during World War II. Faye recited the poem for many years as part of this annual Memorial Day ceremony. Thank you, everyone. Well, when we say Faye recited the poem, they actually recited three poems in no particular order each year. And in trying to find exactly which one he recited, I determined that it's actually three. It's in Flanders Field, um, Freedom Isn't Free, and America For Me. All three of them are quite long put together, so I'm just going to do two of them for you. In Flanders Field by John McRae. In Flanders Field, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below, we are the dead, short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Field. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from falling hands we throw, the torch be yours to hold high. If you break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders Field. The next one is Freedom Isn't Free by Kelly Strong. I watched the flag pass by one day. It fluttered in the breeze. A young Marine saluted it, and then he stood at ease. I looked at him in uniform, so young, so tall, so proud. With hair cut square and eyes alert, he'd stand out in any crowd. I thought, how many men like him had fallen through the years? How many died on foreign soil? How many mothers tears? How many pilots planes shot down? How many died at sea? How many foxholes were soldiers' graves? No, freedom isn't free. I heard the sound of taps one night when everything was still. I listened to the bugler play and felt a sudden chill. I wondered how many times that taps had meant amen when a flag had draped a coffin of a brother and a friend. I thought of all the children, of the mothers and their wives, of fathers, sons, and husbands with interrupted lives. I thought about a graveyard the bottom of a sea of unmarked graves in Arlington. No freedom isn't free. Next, the roll call of fallen heroes for, for the past three years, 2020 through 2023, will now be conducted by Captain Julie Shalhan, United States Navy. Specialist Fourth Class in Dolchevsky, United States Army. William Henry Holden, Jr. Henry J. Sukowski. Merle G. Wilman. Jan A. Corzin. Stephen Andrew Warren. William Lewis Start. Edmund L. LaChapelle. William P. Filari. Samuel A. Melnick. William C. Chamora. Robin J. Gribko. William P. Just. Travis Taylor Hayes. Stanley J. Pilas. Senior. John Reno, Senior. 
Rodney A. Chamberlain, Sr. Michael R. Olszewski. Richard Joseph Wesselowski. Dennis Rue. Paul E. Gobiel. Bernard Lee Hilton. Roman Ray Noak. Lawrence Risley. Richard James Redmond. Chester J. Parda. Richard Walton. Charles Demers. Deerfield's Killed in Action will now be conducted by Radar Man Second Class <coughs> Roger Boysha, United States, United States Navy uh, Petty Officer, and, and Petty Officer Third Class Mac, Matthew Jakotowicz, United States Navy. <coughs> Archie C. Hale, Thomas W. Ashley. Charles C. Clapp, Raymond C. Clapp, John W. Bunkhart, James S. Campbell, James A. Childs, Stephen G. Everett, Stanford I. Gabo, Alan W. Johnson, Thomas W. Johnson. Benny Martrakaitis. Frank Namajewski. William Peavy. Stanley W. Dozik. Woodrow W. White. Charles J. Yastrzemski. William Carl Muller, Walter Brazozowski, Ronald Giroux, Richard A. Scott, Gregory Belandia, Joseph A. Sokolowski, John Kenneth Warger. Thank you. Honoring the fallen heroes now will be conducted by the VFW Post 3295 rifle team with bugles from the Frontier Regional School Band providing taps and the echo response.
May please be seated. Thank you very much. Next on our program, we will present Lisa Woods will sing for us God Bless America. Good morning, everyone. It is definitely an honor to be singing again this year for South Deerfield's Memorial Day celebration service uh, to honor our veterans. I will be singing God Bless America twice, and the second time I ask that you please, please join me in singing it. God bless America. Eternal rest. 
and perpetual light. On this Memorial Day, we pray for all the families of those faithful departed, the parents, the spouses, and especially their children and grandchildren. Grant unto all of them your abiding love and peace. Loving Father, on this day, we also pray for all our wounded veterans and ask that you would give them the strength and the courage to face their difficulties and hardships of both body and mind, and may they know you are ever present in their lives. God, keep in your tender care all those men and women who are presently serving our nation, both here and abroad, and especially all those who are in harm's way. Protect them with your divine spirit. Watch over them that they may know the unbounded love that you have for each of them. For you are our creator who out of love made each of us in your divine image. O Lord, to you be given glory, praise, and honor. Bless our great nation, guide our leaders, and encompass all of us with your eternal presence. May your peace reign over us now and forevermore. Amen. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon all of us this Memorial Day and be with us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You may please be seated. Thank you. I'm closing comments here. On this Memorial Day 2024, Please remember the sacrifice of our fallen heroes who fought and died for the freedoms that we continue to enjoy to this day. If they fought the service, their service and sacrifice in this country was worth it, then so should we. From the Memorial Day Committee, we wish everyone a safe and memorial, memorable Memorial Day. God bless America and our troops, wherever they be serving. We do invite everyone back to the cafeteria here at Frontier to join in, in refreshments. And we thank you for coming. Once again, this concludes our program. Thank you very much.